Hey, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a brand new ColourPop palette. Welcome back, ColourPop. We're glad to have you back. And um, went ahead and uh, started off with my base, and I used the ColourPop Pretty Fresh in Fair in or in Fair 30. And then I added in the Milani uh, bronzing drops, and these are in 110. And this is their lightest color. Comes off pretty gold. Um, I also added in a little bit of the glow lotion from uh, Lumi, the L'Oreal line. And this one's a 902, so this is the lightest one as well. So that's what I have on as far as my base today. Did go ahead and use a Pretty Fresh uh, by ColourPop as well. For the concealer, I have mine in 10 Neutral. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for the cheeks today, started off with the Sunrise Bronzer, and this one's by Flower Beauty. And then I did go ahead and use the Think Shade, and that's from the new Liquid Blushes. Sorry, I'm not going over stuff. So, yeah, this is it. Okay. So I did go ahead and use the Think Shade on the top there. As far as what I went ahead and used for my highlighters, you went ahead and used Flexitarian. And yes, I am trying to use this totally and completely up. And I'm almost there. I have maybe two or three uses more left out of this one. So don't say I never panned anything, because I did. And then the other one that I'm working on panning is this Out of Quartz by ColourPop as well. And so I have this one on as well as a highlighter. So I did go ahead and mix uh, Flexitarian and Out of Quartz together to go ahead and get the highlighter look. And um, let's see, what else did I do as far as... Mixed uh, Panorama by L'Oreal and the Essence Volume Stylus 18 Hour Wear. And so I'll go ahead and put this one on. This one is tubing, so after I put this one on, before this one dries, I put a little bit of this one on. And it makes my lashes a lot longer. At least that's what I think it does. So that's what I did there. Um, as far as the brand new palette that we have today, it's a ColourPop Stranger Things. And so um, this is actually available, at least in my Ulta. It's already there, which is a good thing because I think this one is coming out as a Halloween palette. And um, we're getting to the point where even if you put in an order you're going to get, you know, really close to Halloween before you actually get the order. So, um, again, these, I've seen these in store, in person, over at Alta. So it's definitely worth the drive over to Alta to see if they actually have it available. And I went ahead and worked with the bottom to the darker part of the palette today. Um, I did go ahead and start with this in my crease. And then I went ahead and did this one on the lid. This one I did right under the brow. And again, uh, this one right under the brow. And then right from about here up to here. So um, the other one that I used was this shade right here. I used it as my eyeliner shade down in the bottom. And then as far as my actual pop of color in the actual um, corner of the eye there. I went ahead and used this. This is their Super Shock uh, number 10 shade and this was given out as a freebie at the ColourPop uh, 10 year. If you bought their 10 year palette then you got this as a free a free shadow, free gift with purchase. Um, yeah. Uh, to go along with that palette as long as uh, supplies lasted. So I went ahead and put this on the very inner corner. And I think that this is a really pretty palette. I'm actually going to go back and um, I was going to do this before I got the palette. It actually, I ordered it off the website and I got here sooner. And that's a good thing during this time of year because usually things are running late. But I got it sooner than I thought. So I actually am going to go back and do a whole 
uh, binge the Stranger Things because I watched it a little bit, but I didn't really get into it. So yeah, it's um, it's a really good palette, and I'm really liking the ColourPop formula that they have in here. Um, like I said, it's a first impression. I haven't done one of the lighter looks yet, but as far as uh, this part of the palette, they all are really pretty pigmented. Uh, this is actually one of their new um, glimmers that has really finely, um, it has uh, glitter in there and it's really fine so it doesn't really bother you like the larger or the larger glitter can do on your lids. So anyway, uh, first impression, really liking the formula, not finding anything weird with it. And, um, oh, I I put a little bit of this in the crease too. So I have these two in the crease. This one for the actual um, eyeliner. This one on the lid. This one from here to here and then from here to here. And then I also have this right on the inner corner as well. And um, yeah, I think that it's really pretty. Um, pretty formula, pretty colors that all are working really well together. I mean, they're blending really nicely. So definitely would go ahead and suggest this, especially if you're going to, um, this would definitely work for a Halloween party. It would be a lot of fun for a Halloween party. Um, so if you're looking for a Halloween palette, uh, definitely this. There are a couple other good ones out there as well. And, um, I think as far as the only thing I didn't mention was what I have on the lips. I did use the Just a Tint by ColourPop and the Go Go, and then I mixed a little bit of the Metaglow by Essence in there as well. So yeah, that's the way that the makeup look turned out. Um, again, use some of the Catrice as far as my finishing powder over the top. A really pretty, really punchy palette with a the shimmers are really, uh, well, I can't really call it a shimmer because I want to say the shimmers are great, but what I have on the lid is this color, which is actually one of their really, their new glitter formulas where the glitter is really finely melted so it doesn't bother your eyes, and it's really pretty. And like I said, definitely go ahead and wear this for any sort of Halloween party or that kind of fun stuff. And it's really pretty palette, so I would definitely go ahead and pick it up. Okay, so here's the way that the look turned out. And I think that's the video, and I think I'll... Have a great day. Hopefully, crossing my fingers to have a great day. I hope you have a great day, too. See you later. Bye.